hello, snowflakes and fingerprints. We're all special. Let's get it out of the way. <laughs> Your parents were right. You're all unique and different people. Anyway, um, I am getting a little uh, sick and tired of uh, television networks thinking they can just repackage the same show with a different name and, like, you'll just watch it like some sort of dummy. Like, they'll sit there like, oh, you like, uh, you like Wife Swap? Or is uh, Trading Spouses? You're stupid. Watch it. That's, uh, that's, that's the attitude they have. You're dumb. It's the same thing. You watch it. You'll watch it. Like, I took my favorite show. My favorite show is I Shouldn't Be Alive. That's my favorite show. And uh, e, e Television got a hold of it, and they just call it Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and they think I'm not going to notice. Oh. That's a funny joke, and it's a sad truth. Um, uh, I have more money than I've ever had in my entire life right now. Before you get excited, it's not a lot of money. <laughs> I, can, I can confidently put a down payment on like an 09 Camry right now. <laughs> Cloth seats. I mean, as far as the payments, who knows? I don't know. That thing's going to get repossessed by December, probably. <laughs> but for a good couple seasons, I can roll big. Uh, I, just, I have the amount of money any 34-year-old should have if they applied themselves at their job as an assistant manager at Foot Locker for the past 14 years. That's what I, but I got it from comedy, so I got, I got it from doing something I like, so I don't have the responsibility that comes along with that money. Like, I see that money, and I just, like, I see my bank statement, I'm like, oh, well, well you know what you need, Kyle? You need a brand new electric guitar. That's what you need. No, what I need is to go to the dentist, because I can't breathe in cold air without wincing like I tried a light socket. That's what I need. I, I need to be able to eat a piece of candy without having to move it back and forth in my mouth like a game of Labyrinth so it doesn't hit the magic tooth that makes me forget my middle name for two hours. That's what I need. So, so why don't you get off the BC Rich website because you're trying to find the guitar CeCe DeVille played and talk dirty to me. Why don't you go over to 1-800-DENTIST and get your face fixed? <laughs> like, I still have, ten, I still have, uh, like, poor people. To, I use junk mail to cover food in the microwave. I think that's okay. That's, I think it's resourceful. <laughs> people trying to tell me, like, you can't do that. Why not? I got Target coupons I'm not going to use. I got some chili I want to have. <laughs> Problem solved. I, like, you can't heat up ink. That's not, you're not a scientist. Don't tell me you can't heat up ink. It's a dumb thing. <laughs> but I have to do things to get that. But uh, there's still sacrifices being made, even though, though I get to do what I love. There's still sacrifices. Like, I have to go, and sometimes I have to go to places like Winnipeg, Canada, for two weeks at a time. <laughs> yeah, boy, cheering? Not at all. Um, <laughs> Winnipeg, Canada's greatest tourism selling point is that they are the geographic center of North America. That's it. <laughs> Stop on by. We're in the middle of everything else. <laughs> We're of equal distance away from anything else you'd rather be doing <laughs> when you're in Winnipeg, Canada. <laughs> the hottest night, the sexiest night I had in Winnipeg, I'll tell you, it was a Monday and I got stoned, on marijuana even, yeah. <laughs> I got stoned, then I ordered a pizza. <laughs> then I forgot I ordered the pizza. <laughs> then I got emotionally involved with a TV show on country music television Canada <laughs> called Pick a Puppy. <laughs> Which if you cannot deduce from the title of this program, the premise is that they will take a person or persons and then they will present them with a selection of puppies. <laughs> As if every other problem in the world has been solved. <laughs> this is what drama is in Canada. <laughs> so by minute nine of the show, I'm standing on the couch just yelling, get the golden retriever, it's a loyal creature. It's gonna love you forever. Dalmatian, get off my TV, you dumb whore! <laughs> At which point, the doorbell rings, and I immediately think it's the police. <laughs> because nobody in the history of Winnipeg has ever expressed that sort of emotion past the hour of 8.30 p.m. 
I open the door. I, I'm too high to make eye contact. I'm presented with, with what I think is a giant. They're probably only three inches taller than me. I can't tell if it's a pizza man or pizza woman. I just look at the pizza, they're like, how's your night? I'm like, oh, well, we're trying to pick up puppies, which you can't say out of context. That sounds real strange. <laughs> it gives me the total. I, I get the money out of my pocket. I forget I have Canadian money. I look at it, and I remember it's all light blue and pink with a queen on it, and I just laugh, and I say, you have lady money. <laughs> I, I then proceed to take the lady money, and what I thought was a kind gesture, offer it up to the giant or giantess. <laughs> so I'm taking money I'm laughing at and dangling it over the head of a person who has to deliver me a pizza like the biggest in the geographic center of North America. That's me, Kyle Kinane. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.